Einen wunderschönen Good morning, everyone. Good morning here in Berlin, but also hello to everyone who is watching us wherever you are. Maybe you're in Germany, maybe you're abroad. We're very happy that we're here together and that we can talk about INSEA, the Self-Management and Digital Health Initiative, an initiative for self-management and active living, which has been launched or which was launched in 2014. Now we've gotten to the end of this project and we are wondering how are we going to continue? My name is Winfried Kösters. I'm going to be your moderator today. I'm very excited. We have a very exciting agenda for you, full, packed with information, very entertaining as well. And I hope that you are going to stay tuned. I hope you're going to participate either in person or online. We have a chat box where you can post your questions and comments. I'm going to read out your questions and comments. More than 95 people have tuned in. I would like to say hello to you. And we have about 65 people that are with us. So more than 160 people are listening today. And this is quite meaningful because we want to promote this issue. Today, we are going to make sure that we keep a record of what is being said today. And as you can see, we also have a photographer. Of course, um, with regard to data privacy regulations, please let us know if you want to appear in the photos or not. So if you do not want to be shown, let us know. We will be able to make sure that you do not appear in the photos. Ladies and gentlemen, with regard to the high number of people suffering from a chronic condition, management of a disease for German citizens is very important, not just for those affected, but also family members, friends, caregivers. It is very important to manage your disease in a positive manner so that you have a more confident management and to gain more literacy with regard to management. This goes beyond the acceptance of your disease. This leads to a more self-determined life and you can participate in your own health care. This leads to a better pro participation in the political and social life. These are meaningful words which describe this initiative. Um, of self-management and active living. These core messages are very important and it's supposed to have a sustainable task in Germany. We have the patient's representative here in Germany who is Stefan Schwarzer and he, his job is to foster the interests of patients in all of the relevant fields. Since January 12, 2020, uh, Stefan Schwarze is in this office. He's a member of the Social Democrats and he's actually a, an industrial engineer and he is a member of parliament and he was re-elected four times. So it all boils down to the fact that he has established a very good relationship with his electorate. So whether he's going to find that good relationship with his patients that he's supposed to represent, we still have to wait and see. And now we're going to see his welcome remark. So let's listen to what he has to say about INSEA. Dear Professor Dirk, dear Dr. Seidel, ladies and gentlemen, as patients representative, it is a great pleasure for me to open this symposium today with a word of welcome. After all, this topic is virtually part of the DNA of my office. Self-management and digital health literacy are both skills and abilities that those affected by conditions will need more and more, especially with a view to the future, because our healthcare system is not only becoming increasingly digital, but also increasingly complex. 40% of the population in Germany, so around 33 million people, suffer from one or more chronic disease. 
diseases. Almost a third, 30% of these people live with it for more than 20 years. And this illustrates the extraordinary relevance of this symposium. If we enable patients to cope well with their chronic disease, we not only help them in theory, but we also increase their quality of life in a very practical way. And that should always be the goal of all of our actions. On the other hand, we support them in making the best possible use of the limited human and financial resources of our healthcare system. Professor Dirks and Dr. Seidel, you have both been working on this topic of self-management for a long time, since 2015. You have adapted concepts whose effectiveness has well been documented in the Anglo-American region. You have made sure that we now also have data for our healthcare system that prove that self-management programs can work. Chronic conditions or disabilities are not only burdensome, they also present numerous challenges to those affected and their family members. Even more so when multiple chronic conditions have come together. So this is where your concept, where your self-management classes come into play. You provide support by providing tools and methods that support and positively influence the handling of people's chronic diseases. In addition, the confidence in your, their own abilities should be fostered. I can only applaud that. In short, the classes or courses that you have designed are working. They enable sufferers to cope better, better with their condition and boost their confidence in their own coping strategies. Reduced visits to the doctors and hospital stays also help relieve the burden on the healthcare system. This is a win-win situation for everyone. Now, this is the challenge to incorporate these kind of programs into standard care in such a way that patients who need them can actually get them. This will be an important milestone, and I wish you every success in this endeavor for the benefit of those affected. Ladies and gentlemen, let me say a few words about digital health literacy, the second focus of this conference. Self-management of chronic conditions will be difficult in the future without digital health literacy. After all, the electronic health ca card is set to become standard across the board. Health information is increasingly available online. Disease support diaries and many of today's therapy services are also offered via digital formats. Likewise, we are experiencing a digital transformation in our healthcare system that requires bringing people along with us and helping them to keep up. This digital empowerment for people in both sickness and distress is not only legally necessary, but above all, ethically mandated. In the coalition agreement, we explicitly stated that a digitization strategy is to be developed that focuses on the perspectives of the users, of the patients, in order to find the solution for care problems. For me, this means that everyone must be involved in the digital transformation of the healthcare system. Only in this way we can develop the added value of digital solutions. Users that lack access or lack of lack knowledge will not be able to have access to these solutions. Ladies and gentlemen, Section 1 of the Social Code Book 5 stipulates that health insurance as a solidarity-based community has the task of maintaining the health of the insured, restoring it or improving their state of health. The promotion of health literacy is the personal responsibility of the insured. In my opinion, that sums it up quite well. However, personal responsibility can only succeed with literacy. So I 
would include self-management skills and digital health literacy as indispensable in the future amongst these skills. So I am pleased that today's event is dedicated to precisely these issues. I wish you, Professor Dirks, Dr. Seidel, and all of your fellow campaigners continued success in your work. I hope that the ba patients will be able to benefit from your impressive commitment for a very long time to come. I wish you all a successful symposium. Thank you very much for your attention.